Hey, what's up, North47? Back with the next course in the Course Challenge series here on the Golf Club 2019. And today we are going to be playing a Quail Hollow, designed and recreated by Aces Are Wild. As you can see, usual rules apply. All default conditions for the course. So fairways are going to be firm, greens firm, and green speed fast, default wind speed and direction. We're going to be playing off the gold tees, which are playing 7,606 yards. And because it's Sunday, that I'm recording this on, we are going to play off pin set 4, so without wasting any more time, I will talk to you in just a second down on the first tee. Alright, so here we are down on the first tee at Quail Hollow, and winds don't look too bad. Maybe roughly going by that, maybe somewhere around about the 7-8 mile per hour mark. So this course can be a challenging course, even with the aids on. Um, not overly confident that I'm going to finish over par, but we'll see how it goes anyway. You never know, I could have the best round ever. Um, that's the joys of golf, but let's get straight on in. Let's have a quick look. Okay, we've got plenty of room off the tee anyway. Just need to be mindful. They are kind of narrow fairways. So I say we aim just slightly right. Give it that fast downswing. Ooh, push the right all the way down the left of the plane, or the right-hand side of the plane there, but it has come back around to the fairway, thankfully. So try and keep that under control, especially on the approach shots. Oh, we are actually in the heavy rough. Where did we end up? We, uh, oh, that really did. Even though I pushed that, it really came back around to the left really badly. Even with the wind angled slightly left to right as well. So we've got a bit of a challenging approach shot out of the heavy rough now. Um, 200 to 20. Uh, trying to angle my head now to get a straight line between me and the, the flag marker, that 171 marker. I will say I'm roughly, maybe about, I'll go in the middle. As I've done in previous videos, go in the middle, say 210. So that will be, I'll give it a four iron. With the tailwind, might hopefully help out with that lie. And yeah, I can't see the ball lie, so let's just hit and hope, see how far up there we can get it. Here's the fast downswing again. It's coming around left, but hopefully not too far left. Although I think we could be in the rough again. So off to a little bit of a rocky start. Oh, we're actually, we're in the sand. Okay. So it should be just a little flop shot up onto the green now. Hopefully it doesn't go too far past. Oh, sit down, sit down for me. Sitting at 15, came back to 14. It shouldn't be too bad though. <coughs> Excuse me. 10 to 12 feet. That's not too bad. Pop that pin in. I haven't really been in the previous video. Um, what course was that? Uh, PGA National. Um, I touched briefly at the end of the video about that old put me method that I used to use in TGC1. I haven't actually really been practicing that that much, but I'm going to give it a little go throughout this one. So as you can see it's left to right. Now what I did touch on in the previous video was if I'm looking directly where the, the little white sliver of the hole is from this angle, just trace a straight line directly across to the putter shaft. And so I want to be aiming maybe about halfway out. So I'd say maybe about there. So that's 10 to 12 feet. We'll put that marker up a little bit. Give it about a one count. One. And is it going to turn for me? Oh, I just started turning right at the end just died though <laughs> so we're going to start off with a bogey but that tracked fairly well just needed a little bit more pace on it so i do i must actually as i say just practice that um practice that all putting technique a little bit and see how it goes and once i once i get used to it again um i'll pop a little video up on how exactly i do it okay so we've got a dog left a dog left dog leg left even uh, 305, so I'd say a little bit of a headwind, it's nothing too severe, just aim a little bit right, give it that fast, again it's coming around a little bit far left though, it should be okay, just watching those numbers, yeah it's running out nicely, we should be perfectly fine in the fairway, and we are leaving us somewhere between 140 and 150 yards. It's up 15 feet. So let's see. Okay, right. That marker there, 141. So I'm going to say... I wouldn't really call that a 10-yard difference. 
We'll go again in the middle, 145. So we'll say it would have been up 15. It's going to be playing about 150. Slightly angled wind coming at us. So I will say 9 iron. Ball again. I'm trying to do the lie grid. Ball is a bit below the feet. I will just push it out slightly right. Don't think I'm going to touch the loft with that wind. Didn't want the fast. So it's coming extra left. And it's going to be a little bit long. Or is it? Touchdown at 143. Stopped at 144. I don't even think I'm on the green. I am not. I'm on the fairway. Just a little sliver of fairway leading onto the green. But a little chip shot. Gone completely the wrong way. Little chip shot. 8 to 9 yards. Pop the loft up on that. Can it run? Go on. Run, run, run. Oh, just turned a bit too much. Decent effort though. That'll bring us in for a par. So we'll stay at one over for the moment. Let's move on to the third hole. Par 4, 483 yards, stroke index of 16. And as you can see, very narrow fairways on this course. You do have to be careful. So it's aiming about this tr this tree here. I can just about see the bunker, the green side bunker there. That's not too bad. Pushed it, but it is coming back. Just hopefully not too far. I can't see the trail. There it is there. Looks to be safely down the left side of the fairway. I was more watching the ball. I wasn't watching the number, so I don't know how quickly it stopped, but we are on the fairway. Bit of an overhang on that tree, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, 180 to 200, up 8 feet. Again, I think we'll just go safely down the middle. Um, let me see if I can get that. No, see, that's the thing. When you have the uh, scout camera and stuff turned off, all the yardages reverse themselves. But we have got plenty of room to work with. The greens are firm and fast. Right, that marker behind me is 207. Same 180 to 180 to 200. I'm gonna go closer 180. Say 185 with the wind. Ball is on a bit of an upslope. We'll play the six iron. Maybe a little bit of loft on it. That's a good swing. The wind is bringing it back. Just don't bring it back too far. That's come up very short. Still moving though. Speed it up. Made it to 182. We are on the green. 25 to 30 feet. It's playing roughly about... Yeah, roughly about the 25. Going by the marker. Up 6 inches it's saying there. Uh, but up on the top right it's saying up 1 foot. So I'm going to go up a foot rather than the 6. So I don't know, it's saying 25, 25, 43. Let's pop that marker out there. Well, first off, let's have a little look. That's given me roughly a green line. So I'll pop that up to 43. Pop to the green line. Let's see if it works. Again, as I say, I haven't fully gotten used to it again. It's a number of years since I used this technique with using the putter shaft. But one, two, three, four. Come on, turn for me. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, very close. Just a little bit too far, but swing line is actually shown. I did pull it slightly left as well. But I will happily take the par, so we'll stay at plus one again for the moment. As we move on to the fourth hole, par three. Stroke index is six, 182 down four. So I think I'm definitely... Yeah, six iron's not going to be enough, or it's going to be too much. Um... Oh, what angle is that giving me? Right, there's the bit of fairway. Give me a sideways angle. There's not really too much room to work, but I'll try a 7 iron. Try the 7 iron and see how that gets on. Side out there, the flag marker's starting to dip. It's a good swing. It's tracking well. It's coming around a little bit too far. It's a little bit right of the pin. Made it to 178. I think a touchdowner. 
Crawl down to 184. It doesn't look like it's going to be too bad at all. 12 to 14. That's not bad. Not bad. So let's have a little look. Get back up to that again. Now the put a shaft for there is giving me about just over halfway out to that first line. So let's try it. Let's say it was about there. Obviously on the left hand side. But let's see how it goes. We'll give it one and a half count. So one. Let's track him well. In we go. So that worked out nicely. Back to even par. As we move on to the fifth hole. Par four stroke index ten. 449 yards. It's playing about 437 to the pin. Okay, uh, those bunkers all in the landing zone, but let's have aim slightly right. A fast downswing. That's tracking beautifully for the middle of the fairway. Does kick right though. Not a severe there. It is feeding slowly right, but it's more than more than safe in the fairway. Even this 130 to 140 up 15. Okay, we've got 160, well, 159, we we'll call it 160 there behind us, and 101 in front. Um, so, it's a little bit closer to the 160, I'll say 135, we'll go in the middle, that's how I'm going to do the majority of the time, go in the middle, so say 135, up to 15, so 140 roughly. So, we'll come back to a pitching wedge, because with that wind... Again, I'm trying to look at the lie grid, but it looks like it's slightly below the feet. We'll just play it about there. A little touch aloft. Decent swing, very slight pull, but it is coming back. And it's tracking very nicely. Touch down about 133. Still rolling, 142. Wow, that really went on. Where did we end up? Well past the hole. <clears throat> well, well past the hole there. Going by the marker. And the way that I can see it with the flag. It looks like it's about the 30 footer. Uh, it's up a foot. So, say what, 48. Let's see what this will do. Now, if I come down to here. Again, roughly about the green line. So, I'll pop that out to 48 just over the line give it about four and a, I'll give it about four and a half count I think five would be too much one two three four need it to turn in oh just burn that left edge maybe the five count might have been a little bit better might have just held that line just an extra second But I'll take the par and nearly missed it. <laughs> that turned a little bit more aggressive than I thought it would have. So I'll stay even par for now as we hit the sixth hole par three, 249. Stroke index of 12. So that's 242 down 25. Uh, so we'll take eight off that. That'll be 234 to the pin. Um, now what have we got to work with? What angle is that giving me now? See, it's I'm looking upside down at the green now. I have got a decent bit. It's 232 to the front of the green. So it's going to have to be a 5 wood regardless. No matter what, it's going to have to be a 5 wood. 4 aren't going to be too short, 2 are going to be way, way too long. It's a good swing. Can't see the trail, so I don't even know if it's coming around. I have no idea where that's ended up. I can't even see the pin. I can well actually no, I can just barely make out a little dot of the pin, so it looked like it went okay, it's long. But where exactly did we end up? Pretty sent pretty on line with the pin actually, just again, just way, way too long. So good job I didn't play the two wood. Not a break not a breaking, not breaking too aggressively. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Um but going by the blur of that pin, about halfway. We'll try it about halfway, about there. It's 30 to 35, so it's about 30. Take a take 11 off that. It's going to be 19. Again, this is going back to the old way that I used to do on TGC2 with the markers for a distance. 
So I'll give that about a two count. One, two. Kind of trickle its way down there. Go on, keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, <laughs> just burned the right this time. Just with pulling the marker back, I think I need to just pop it out just a little bit more to the left. Perfect weight on it. <laughs> just left a four foot put on the edge. Wow, so we're going back to plus one. As soon as I hit that, I was saying, is that going to be enough? That is absolutely disgraceful. Disgraceful leaving a four foot put short like that right on the lip. But we've got a par five. We have a chance, a chance to pull one back again. Get back to even par. Um, pretty good fairway. Not as narrow as the others. Good landing area. Good swing. Just speed it up. That should be, yeah, that'll be more than saving the fairway. So I'll get this one out of the way. Just save a little bit of time. I'll be knocking about two seconds off the video with that one. Uh, 200 to 220 down a foot. So I won't worry about the elevation. Ball is well below the feet. I can see that already. And with the wind angled as well. So going by the marker, we'll pop it out to about here. So 200 to 220. I'll say closer to 200. Going by that 191 marker in front of me. Uh, so 200. I definitely want to play at least or at most a 5 iron. But then again, is it going to show me? Mm, no, I can't even see. I'm going to take a big, big risk here. Is a six iron going to be enough? Could get wet with this one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to aim out even further. It is a par five. We have got that bit of fairway with the two, with the two bunkers in between. Or either side, should I say. So let's play six iron. No point. Oh, we got a fast. So that could go long and end up in that far bunker, but I'd rather it be in the bunker and dry. It's running out pretty well, actually. So it might just be in the rough, if not on the fairway, but it is on the fairway. And I would have much rather that. I don't think I would have carried to the fairway at all. I would have been wet there if I had to use the, uh, use the six iron for the green in two. So happy with that decision. 30 to 35, it's not going to give me a thing, so I'll give that about half left. Decent. Touchdown, 28, board and 29, it has run on a little bit, but it doesn't look too far from the hole, although it's still trickling. 12 to 14, it's not too bad. Looks like it might break to maybe just about here. One, two, just give it about a one and a half count. And it's shy again. I didn't actually look at the elevation on the top right. So that is going to be just a par and a par five. We'll stay at plus one. Two to play on the front nine. Can we get it back to even for turning to head home? 251 just to where that bunker wants to start left to right wind I'd say I'm aiming just a little bit right looks like the fairway is going to kick right to left there I can just see it bulging up and the ball might just stun right on it and come to a stop we'll soon find out but it's tracking fairly well Speed it up, 300 dead. We are on the big slope, 40 to 45, and it's up to 15. Can I get a marker? Uh, 33, so mm, we'll say 40. Say it's playing 45. Now, what do I want to do is the question. Um, I'm not a fan of the rollout from a pitching wedge flop shot but we'll give it a go put some loft on it and just hope oh there's a fast so it's not coming back around to the right it's staying straight it stopped at 40 though 10 to 12 feet not too bad considering it held straight 
this, this is the thing where that where I do need to practice it a little bit is the um, breaks like this now where it's definitely it's definitely not gonna break to just there it's gonna be more about here I think so 10 to 12 we'll give it a just over a one count on come on turn turn in we go beautiful so back to even par can we get it to under par before heading into the back nine there's a par four a long par four oh this is the one yeah this one <laughs> if you're not if you don't pay attention you just take a swing you're straight into the trees but yeah we should be perfectly fine about here there's the fast Gonna track it nicely around that dog leg. Hopefully it doesn't come too far left. I'm stuck in the rough. It looks like it might be okay. Just about. Oh, we're not. We're not. Just a bit shy of the fairway. A little bit more right. I need it to go. Um. Okay. Longest club, four iron for a semi-decent percentage. Just knock as many yards off as we can just speed that up it's in the fairway knocked 174 off even a 60 to 65 up 8 feet I'll say 65 because I'm right at the 66 marker there <coughs> excuse me um, so I want to pitch shot so what I say 65 Five. Now it's up eight, so we'll add three on sixty-eight. So this should be perfect. The ball is on a bit of an upslope. I give it a tiny touch of loft just in case. The wind might hold it up a yard or two as well. Slow down swing. That's magically going to make it go a little bit longer, is it? Touch down at sixty-two, sixty-three. Made it to sixty-six. Twelve to fourteen feet. Not too bad. Could have been better. looks like it might break somewhere around about half to three quarters away out to the line so I'll set up there so it's about 14 so call it 17 maybe 16 come on turn keep going keep going in you go that was a birdie no that was a par I do apologize that was a par because we ended up in the rough off the tee so we'll stay at even par as we head on to the back nine Kicking things off, par 5, 592 yards, stroke index of 5. And that bunker looks like it's going to be just nicely in the landing area. So we'll aim what I can see to be just the right side of it. Fast downswing, hopefully should keep us away from it. It's holding nicely. I just don't want it to come too far right though. And end up on the rough on the far side looks to be running out nice so we should be okay in the fairway 325 and we are leaving us 260 to 280 down 32 so it's more than reachable um so what did i say 260 to 280 265 yard marker just in front of me so i'll give that somewhere between five and ten yards as that i am behind it so i say about 270 280 or 270 to 275 we'll go 270 down the middle it's gonna be two wood now actually 270 down 32 so I'll take about 11 off there round it up 33 270 so 260 259 I think I'll actually just play the five wood not really much yeah if I can angle it right now I can see some yellow lines I don't know what way they're sloping but actually if I aim straight at it at the wind bring it back after a fast downswing there's the fast but I pushed it so I didn't come back or hold straight it hasn't stopped dead and meet oh wait now it has 257 the heavy rough but that's not too bad where exactly did we end up just there that's not too bad at all I will take it, it is a par 5 so 25 to 30 are we going to get a mark okay right there's a 32 yard marker there at the front of the green so 
Yeah, I'll say closer to 25. 84, okay. 84, yeah, if we play Sand Wedge, hopefully that should be okay. Oh, fast, that's gone long. Is it? Touched at 25 or 26. It is past the hole anyway, and it's still going. Into the light rough, so we've just gone from one side to the other. A little chip shot, though. Oh, turn a bit, turn. Oh, it stopped right on the lip. Right on the lip. So we'll take a par, stay even for now. Just hopefully we can keep any more bogeys off the scorecard, but as I say, it can be a tricky course. So where's that fairway bunker? Those fairway bunkers, right, 331 just after that second bunker, 259, pretty much the start of the first one. I'd say, yeah, I look to be aiming well over to the right side of the fairway. And with the fast downswing and the wind angles, hopefully things going right. That should be just nice. Oh, I need that to come left. And I really need it to come left. I think we're going to be in the rough. Yeah, that stopped almost immediately. Oh, that's a horrible, horrible lie. Right under the trees. It's 160 to 180. Stop in the middle. I'll say 170. So let's get up through the clubs. We'll get to the six iron. Uh, when, where's punch? Where's the punch shot? Hmm. 136. Alright, we need to go right up through. I'm not going to take a five wood punch shot. That's a horrible light. Alright, we'll just punch it with the four iron. Not going to get the green. But... I'm going to keep it from heading up, heading up into the trees. Made it to 123. Not too bad. Gives us 40 to 45. Up to... So we'll go with 40. So I was playing 42. So I think I'll do a gap wedge. Flop shot. A little bit of D-loft. Again, fast downswing. Touchdown about 40, 41, and it's really gone on. That's I think that's off the green, is it? No, it's on the green. 18 to 20 feet. Going by the looks of this, it's going to be minimum one and a half out. Give it about a two count, just under. Can it turn? Can it turn? No, way too far. It was actually only about a green line out for that pace anyway, so it's going to be a bogey at least. Which it is. So back to plus one again. Kind of bouncing back and forth between one over and even. Don't think we've actually been under par at all yet for the round. So now I cannot see where I am but I'm going to assume I'm down near the bottom left of the screen somewhere wind is angled very very slightly but it was basically a headwind I'd say just aim straight over to the left of these trees that's a very nice swing Can just about see roughly where it should be landing that's gone long I think Oh, I think we're just okay on the left side of the fairway there. 296. And we are just about a couple of yards to spare. Now, this is a tricky shot because I need to aim a little bit left. We've got that, the canopy of that tree overhanging. It's 160 to 180, up three feet, so we'll add a yard on. Not that it's going to make too much difference. 196 marker just behind us. So, as I say, 160 to 180. I'm going to say it's about 170. Say about 170, yeah. We'll go in the middle, play safe. So, 170 is going to be a 7 iron. With that wind, I think I more want to play a 6 iron, to be honest. I'll D-loft. I'll D-loft the 7. 
Now, just is this bar going to get up and over that canopy? Let's soon find out. It is. Just nicely. It's a little bit left. Touchdown 164, going on to 165. It's made it to 170. Is it still going? Let's speed her up. That's not a bad approach at all. 12 to 14. Marker is on the hole roughly about the 14. So I'll say it's playing about 12 at that. It's saying down 3 inches. It's not going to break too aggressively. I'll put it about half. Hopefully that should be enough. Is it going to turn? Get in. Back to even par yet again. Okay, let's see if we can't stay even. If not, get under par. Got six holes to do it. Trickyish par three. It's 192 to the front of the green. That headwind. It's 217. Safe playing about 218. Right, it's going to have to be four iron, no matter what. 94 to the front, so it should touch down roughly around about the front of the green. Oh, fast downswing. That's nowhere near the green. That is nowhere near the green. We'll just speed that one up. So it's going to leave us with a little flop shot in. Um, yeah, full loft on that, just in case it's more than 20. Oh, run out for me. It was looking like it's it's more towards the 25 yard mark that was. 18 to 20 feet. Not breaking too aggressively. It's saying it's playing roughly about 20. So 27, it's up a little bit. Put about half. Come on, turn. Keep that line. Save the par. Beautiful putt. Okay, 14th hole, 345 yard par 4, it's 316 to the pin. Playing about 311, the elevation, now with that wind. Okay, oh this is a hard one to see, now there's the flag over there, so I think yeah, if we just, I'll just aim it just a little bit more right, I'm going to give it that fast down swing, I doubt I'm going to get the green, but we have got water all down the left there, I don't want to come too far left with a big banana curve from the ball so there's the fast it's coming around now I think this I think the fairway on this hole does kick it right to left it's running it's still going slowly it's speed her up 311 we're on the fairway just before the green that's not bad at all so it's going to be a little flop shot again, full loft, about a half swing, ooh, bit of a wobbly line on that one, but it's there, 17 yards, that's pretty close, we should hopefully get a birdie, 4 feet, now I, I did leave a 4 foot put short earlier on, so we've got to be careful here, <laughs> but it's in, and for the first time in the round we are under par at, one, at minus 1. Can we keep it there? Par 5 coming up. Stroke index is 17, so it's more than reachable. Only 5 16s of the pin. Now, can I see? Right, 310 to that tree there. Those trees right there beside my golfer's head is 310. Okay, so let's aim. I can see the bunkers right side there. Let's aim at them bunkers. Fast down swing. Decent. A little bit of a push. Which I think has actually helped me because that's really coming back around to the left. It should be just nice in the middle of the fairway. Let's speed her up. 301. Leaving us at somewhere between 260 and 280. Actually, yeah, now I remember this all. Um, very, very tricky green to get to and to. Especially with that bunker right slap bang in the middle of the fairway. Just before it's... I can see a 254 yard marker there. Um, right in front of me. So I'm going to say... About 265, 260 to 265 from the pin. Uh, give me a look. It's n I'm not gonna risk that one. I'm not gonna get it. So we'll play. 
We played it too, Wood. Just gonna do per try for a perfect, perfect. And I got the fast. Where is it going? I think it's fed its way into that bunker. That fairway bunker I was just mentioning. I'm on speed up, it's still moving. We are indeed in the bunker. Okay. Well, it's only a little flop shot though. Again, full loft. Little half swing. Is it up? Ooh, only made it to nine. Could have done a little bit better on that one. So it gets a bit more aggressive towards the end. So I'll play it about here. Is that enough? Go on, turn, hold that line. Beautiful putt. Bring it to two under. Absolutely beautiful. That's the old green line tap method. So again, I, I, I don't use that method as often as I used to, but big thank you to MS Karen FBI for that one. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need to... Mm, yeah, about there. Right along. There we go. That should be okay. It's a good big fairway. It's running nicely. Oh, it stopped at 304. Oh, whoa, where did I end up? Oh, I didn't carry. I didn't aim far enough left. And we're in trouble. 180 to 200, it's down 26, we'll round that up to 27, so let me see, have I got a marker right, 185 just in front of me, we'll say, we're one, we'll say about 190, so 5 iron, well no, we'll say about 190, but we need to take about 9 off, that's so say about 181, I think five iron might actually just might just be nice. Might get it up just to the front of the green. Oh, we might get very lucky. But taking a five iron out of sand is not easy. Decent swing, fast down swing. It's coming back a little bit right. It should be on the green actually. 181 about is where it touched down. It's on the green. It's gonna be a lengthy putt though. Oh, just looking at those beads. I think I am just going to give this two lines out. Just aim to get this one close. Give it about a four count. One, two, three, four. Needs to start turning. Come on, turn. That's not too bad. I've got it to roughly inside ten. Well inside ten, five feet. I just about made it. <laughs> I turned again a bit more aggressive than I thought it was going to. But we stay at two under par. As we hit the 17th par three. Ooh, now we've got 203. Oh, what angle is that giving me? Okay, yeah, 203 to the front of the green. Wind is slightly angled in the favour. Okay, it's 220. Uh, take eight off. That is going to be. 212 with that wind I think I actually want to play a 5 iron I think the wind the wind will carry it I'm confident the wind will carry it we'll soon find out it's a good swing where is it going to end up it's carried I think it was about 208 it touched down Running out 219, 220, 221. That looks very good if it sits there. Eight feet. I think that's the best approach of the round. Now, can I convert it? I don't know how far on there. So it's been about 12. Turn for me. In we go. Bring it to three under. That was a beautiful approach into that green. Okay, 18th hole, par 4, 495 yards, stroke index 3. So we'll just, I'll be happy enough with a par on this one. 
Um, again, can't see where I am. I'm off screen from this view. But the good thing is, we have a clear look at the fairway. You can see that fairway bunker. I'll aim about there. It is a right to left wind. So I'm going to aim right at the bunker. It's a beautiful swing. Wind and the faster bringing it back. And more than safe in the middle of the fairway. 313 yards. Okay. 180 to 200. It's up 15. Got a 158 marker just in front of the 237 behind. So 180 to 200. We'll go in the middle and we'll say 190. Yeah, we'll say 190. Call it 195 at the ele elevation. Um, do I want to go there in two? Do I want to go there in two? It's 31 yards from the front of the green to the pin. So I say it's kind of about 180, or say 195. Alright, let's go 6 iron. And see if we can't get a good run out on that. Aim well left. I don't want it to trickle down into the little, uh, into the little stream there. There's the fast and the wind. Come on, bring it around nicely. That'll do. Don't come any further. Touchdown at 183. Are we on the green? I can't see. 190. I don't think we're on the green. We are on the green. 20 to 22. It's not bad. We'll call it 21 it looks to be. <coughs> um, okay, now right down to the flag mark. It's saying up 8 inches. Up top right It's of the screen. It's saying up a foot. I'm going to go up a foot. So, say it's playing 21. Uh, let me see. 39. There's little to no break in this. Little to no break. So we're up to 39. It's going to push it right edge. Give it a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn in a little bit for me. It played straight. Played straight. I should have got down to the worm cam and just had a little look. But never mind. I will happily take the par there. Finished the round off at three under. I was expecting, I really, really genuinely was expecting to actually finish that round over par. I thought it was going to go that way. We were kind of bouncing back and forth a few times there between uh, plus one and even. But more than happy to finish at three under here at Quail Hollow. Designed and recreated by Aces Are Wild. Amazing job done with that course, Aces. Um, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new to the channel or you haven't already and you do enjoy the content, do feel free to subscribe if you wish to. And make sure to click that bell icon to keep yourself notified of when I do upload in the future. And as always, until the next one, take care, have yourselves a good one and bye for now.